Hey guys, I'm Brooke and this is Pippa and we travel full time in my Honda CRV. if you didn't know us already. If you did, welcome back. And today we're going to talk about the most exciting thing that's happened in a really long time. Oh, Pippa's excited. We have a fridge, finally. We have refrigeration. I am so freaking excited i cannot explain to you how exciting it is after traveling for nine months with either no refrigeration or just struggling with cooler bags coolers ice etc we now have a fridge and you can hear it probably in the background and i am so excited <laughs> i have chosen to not have a refrigerator this whole time just because I couldn't really settle on the right one and I didn't have quite how I wanted the layout of the car to be so after some little renovations that I've done in the car that I'll show in a different video I now have enough space to have like a fully functional fridge space kitchen space um if you look in the back I have some like new drawers and stuff like that like so many things have been happening behind the scenes that are so exciting and I can't wait to show you every little detail but today we're just going to talk about the fridge because set power was so so generous in sending Pippa and I a fridge and gifting it to us and I just want to tell you all about it it's a 21 quart fridge it's the FC 20 model it holds a ton of stuff and we'll go into that in a minute but it's also a 12 volt fridge so I can plug it into the cigarette lighter in the car I have one up front and I have one in the back so the one in the back actually makes it super easy to keep plugged in while I'm driving and um, cooling it down before I go to the grocery store and then when I'm at my campsite I can hook it up to my power station and use solar to power the entire fridge and keep all of my stuff nice and cool it fits a lot I figured I would do like a little haul and show you guys what I got at the grocery store to fill it up and then I'd also add in a little bit of a kitchen tour to show you how I've kind of laid out my kitchen now so the first thing I got obviously was some oat milk and some chai those are my two favorite kind of luxury items in the morning I got some queso some feta I got coconut whipped cream I got yogurt, perfect bars, red onion, hummus with carrots, of course, some cheese to mix with whatever I have going on, some fajita veggies, and some broccoli. And you can see how it fills up the fridge perfectly. I have room for even more things if I stacked, you know, even more in there. And obviously, um, you can choose how you like. I've put some energy drinks in there as well over this week, some water bottles and things like that. There's plenty of space, especially because it's just me and the dog. I really am not cooking for very many. And as you know from my previous grocery hauls, I do have a lot of dry goods that I use and supplement as well, just because these are my refrigerated items does not mean that this is everything that I'm going to eat this week. I have um, chicken packets, I have canned food, rice, all that kind of stuff that will kind of supplement some of this. I want to be able to expand what we're eating and eat a little bit healthier now that I don't have to eat everything out of a can or just dry goods basically and I can also save leftovers now and I can reheat them so I can make some bigger meals which is really nice. I'm also so excited for this summer to be able to have cold drinks. Uh, last year, if you didn't know, I made it somehow the whole summer without any, you know, ice water or anything like that. And I think it's going to be such a game changer this year to be able to have some nice cool drinks while we're on the road and especially while we're traveling. I plan on saving even more money by not having to stop and get cold drinks while I'm on the road. And when I'm traveling, I can buy them at the regular grocery store and just to store them in my fridge and when I pull over to let Pippa out and run around or to go get gas I can just pop in my kitchen in the back and I can pull out an energy drink or a soda or just some cold water for me and Pippa to refresh ourselves with on the road and not have to worry about spending so much money at gas stations. So this fridge is going to be such a game changer for us. I can already feel it um, and I know that 
not everybody has the luxury of having a fridge and that's why I want to again thank Set Power for this beautiful fridge and this opportunity to be able to collaborate with them and to show you guys the option of what you can use. So I'm going to show you now about how I set up the kitchen in the back so you can see how I use mine and how our setup is going to be moving forward. The first new addition to my setup are these drawers on the very bottom drawer to keep the drawers from tipping over. I have all my heavy stuff. So I have my pans, my bowls, um, any cooking utensils that I need. I have them right here in this drawer. And then when we move to the back of the vehicle, I have my propane, my stove. I actually have two stoves right now, <laughs> my dry cooler, my fridge, and my water. So in my dry storage, that's where I keep all of my dry goods, all of the food that you guys have seen this whole time. I've kept that cooler. It has cup holders, so I like to use it. And then I keep everything hooked up to solar. When I have my full kitchen set up now, this is how my campsite looks. I have my solar panels out to keep my power station charged, to keep my fridge running, and then also I have my table and chair set up right next to where I'll be cooking so I can reach everything inside the vehicle super easy. This is the stove I've been using since the beginning. It is just a one burner stove that screws right into the top of a propane bottle. I do have a flat top stove now. I am just waiting to get in the fuel that I need because it's going to be butane instead of propane. Either way, it is still a camping stove and my setup is pretty simple, but the table is nice so I can prepare everything and then just sit down and eat while my food is still hot when the weather is nice. So I hope this answers some questions about how we eat on the road, how my kitchen is set up, and if I have refrigeration or not. I get asked all the time about if I do have a refrigerator or I don't, and now you guys know the answer, and thanks to Set Power, I do have a refrigerator, and I have not had any issues with it. It's worked beautifully this entire time. It has a eco mode, so it doesn't drain my battery super fast. I would totally recommend it if you're looking for a fridge, especially a 12-volt one if you are car camping, RVing even, um, if you're in a bus or otherwise, this is a really great option to have so you don't have to deal with the pain of trying to find ice, keeping things cold, losing food for it to be like waterlogged with the ice thing. I know I lost a lot of food that way and it's just really frustrating. So this has made my life so much easier and I'm really excited to see how many more options I have down the line and I can like have a little bit of luxury finally for a second um, with having a fridge. If you guys have any more questions about the fridge um, or if you want to know where to find it, please leave me a comment and check out the description box. I'll leave everything linked of course. And if you have any other car camping questions or anything else, please check out my other videos or leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn our notifications on so you can keep up with Pippa and I as we head into 2022 and our travel season is going to be starting very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!